welcome back to one of the videos of millennials hip hop if you didn't know if you didn't watch my last video is uh when i say about this is this is part of uh, a new series that we start reacting to oldies but goldies uh, hip hop songs you know that really made the hip hop uh culture very great and that is my personal uh, liking period of, of hip hop hip hop between 2000s and 2015 ish and uh what how can i do this without reacting to as you've seen in the in the uh, title of the video you know 50 cent of course in the club so let's jump into it jump sorry Come give me a hug if you into to getting rubbed. You know, on the back, of course. Wow. <clears throat> Again, um, never understood properly this part. Uh, if you don't know why, is because I am Romanian, not English or American. So that means English is kind of my second language. Which, by the way, I've learned watching movies since I was just like four or five years old by watching movies and listening to music. And um, this is a short uh, history for me, uh, about me, but anyway, by the way, I wasn't listening to hip hop because I was kind of young. In my country, you could barely or not at all get, you know, hip hop music, especially American hip hop music. But I grew up with uh, Michael Jackson, with shaken stevens if you know him with uh, abba ace of bass and a lot more others um and yeah um maybe you think i should or i could be ashamed of of this but i really am not like these are great legends most i mean not most of them but you know some of them are not amongst us today and i think a lot of people will agree with me when i'm saying that you know the people that i mentioned before uh are still are great legends and um yeah let's get back to our video and to hip-hop music so come and give me a hug, you get in the getting rough When I pull up out front, you see the Benz on do uh -huh. When I roll 20 deep, it's 29, in the club yeah. Niggas heard I fuck with Dre, now they wanna show me love When you sell like Eminem and the hoes, they wanna fuck But homie ain't nothing See? He just said, you know, people heard I'm um, with Dre and Eminem And now they wanna get close to me, they wanna be my friends <clears throat> of course you cannot let people like that get near you but if you do you're making a great mistake which you will regret 
in near future. Oh yeah, exhibit was in the in the video as well, and uh, to be honest, when I first uh, saw the the video, the official video of this song, and I saw exhibit, I knew exhibit more than I knew 50 Cent. Uh, and I have to do this. I have to say this. Um, my first 50 Cent album, and the one that I still love today, to the core, honestly, was uh, the Massacre. And I remember that because I bought it when I went in Spain. Now I live in in London, in UK, and back then. I, I i i tried to live in spain and i went there and i uh, found this this guy selling cds on uh, on a carpet at the uh, let me let me think uh underground slash uh what do you call it in in america i, I can't think of it anyway underground the the metro the what you call the the underground train yeah so um i thought to myself why not i'm into hip-hop and i love it and i thought you know i the one great mistake i did was i chose a 50 cent album over Eminem's? No, no, no. I bought, I bought them both. I bought an Eminem, Eminem uh, album as well. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Sorry, I'm a bit old, and that happened like in 2005. 2005. So it's like 17 years ago. <laughs> Damn, I'm old. Anyway, let's get back into it. Sorry for this uh, long pause. <laughs> And I think he did. He was ambitious. I mean, I think he still is. But he did put hip hop in the chokehold. I don't know why, but I th I'm, I feel like I'm not the only one thinking that um, this hip hop trio, that means 50 Cent, Eminem, and Dre, are the best music band, if you want, of all times. Maybe it's just me, but maybe not. I feel like I'm not the only one. Anyway, let's get back. He said he has a meal from the deal with Dr. Dre and, and Eminem. And um, he's still in the grind. To be honest, I am not a hundred percent sure, but you know how the industry goes with you know label signing with label, you as a rapper signing with labels, trying to get to squeeze every penny out of you and give you uh, like very less to none cash. But I think um, the story between 50 Cent and Eminem and, and Dr. Dre was way different. I don't know why, but I think that's how, I mean, ba being based on trust and on, uh, I don't know, friendship, I think that's how they, they got this far, all three of them. That's how they got this far. They were, they were true to each other and friends above all the, the 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 money making you know companies that they run 
so i think i really think this got them this far and that's why he say he says that he got a million uh, a meal from the deal and he's still grinding plus he's not stupid he knows he got a meal now but he doesn't want to, to stop there he wants to go up which he did but anyway Hold on. Please let me know. He said, I got Kmart and I ain't change. Was he or is is he he still owns Kmart? Because I know Kmart is a, a supermarket in US, right? Please let me know about this. I really don't know and I really want to know. Even if you know this happened like 20 years ago, almost. I really want to know. Honestly, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. Way more than you hate it, nigga, you mad? I thought that you'd be happy, I made it I'm the cat by the bar, toasting to the good life You that faggot ass nigga, tryna pull me back, right? Too much on, get the bumpin' in the club It's on, I'm with my eyes, you bitch, if she smiles, she gone If the roof on fire, let the motherfucker burn Just talking about money, homie, I ain't concerned I'ma take you with bass for me, cause go ahead, switch the style up The niggas hate yeah. to let him make Another great rapper which he had by his side and if not all of you most of you know you know Lloyd Banks This video ends here and again what else can I say about this great hit about this great man because one thing I just remembered one thing I kind of envy about him is not the money but the women he was with I mean he's not just a player he's not just a rapper he's like all in one like he's wow or at least he was when he was younger now i'm not sure but i think he has a, a wife maybe again i'm not sure didn't follow every rapper's personal life and uh you know i just i don't want to judge i don't i'm not like a person like that so i just want to you know listen to what they have to say and you know enjoying the music they make and well that's hip-hop right so um yeah please let me know what you think about the video what i asked you before in the comments and um well if you want to help me and help the channel it's 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 nothing for you honestly to help me like it's it's not cheap it's free just hit that like button please if you didn't by now subscribe and um hit that notification bell yeah see you in the next video